Welcome to my apartment. It's only $500 a month and we're in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. Behind me is an ambulance that Eli lives in and we're about to have a tour of that. But first, we're going to the cheapest apartment I've ever seen. Toured over a hundred apartments in New York City and this is the cheapest one I've seen. So the door leads directly into the apartment and this is walking all the way through to the kitchen, the bedroom, into the shower and then into the bathroom. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull this back to it. So this is like your separation from your bedroom to your kitchen area, this little curtain right here. Yeah, that makes it a separate room. So this is the dining area. The pot top and extension cords. For like the stove? So I'm just pulling out with that. I'll show you the stove. But it gets the job done. Pots and pans up here, all pink theme. Yes, and I do cook with them, <laughs> actually. Crackers and potatoes and flour, like random things. Then this is just the closet. Simple a bar. Hangers. I mean, that's what every closet is, except it has four walls around it. So why do your clothes have to be behind four walls? You know what I'm saying? Like, who invented that? <laughs> We have like the kitchen, the pantry, your closet. And also the dining room. Okay, so now we're in the bedroom. This is for Alaska. She's like, likes her own it's private time. Beds with like more clothes. Okay. <laughs> and then also I noticed that you decorated the green leaves and the sparkles just to like jazz it up yeah. a little bit. A pig. It's a pig. Name pig. <laughs> 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 right. And where do you normally hang out? Are you normally on the bed or over here? I never sit here. I always sit in the bed. What about on the ground? I find myself in my own apartment yeah. just sitting <laughs> on the ground a lot. There's a little bit more over here though. Like... This is like the get ready with me area. Oh, is this a sliding door? It's seen better days. Yes. Okay, we are in the bathroom. And in what's the shower. in the shower? I'm in the shower. <laughs> and what's interesting is that, like every tiny uh, home I've seen in New York City, no one has a shower or bathroom inside. They have to like go down a hall and share it with people. So this is like luxury living right now. It's small for you, but yeah, but for me, it's like yeah, exactly. Because I'm like twice as big as you. <laughs> You look so big. <laughs> okay, when we're turned sideways, we're in here. And then I can just wash my hands right here, <laughs> dry my hair, and brush my teeth. Do you ever have two people in the bathroom? Yeah, me and my friends, like, get ready at the same time. <laughs> hey, you said you wash your dishes in the shower and in the tub. <laughs> okay, here we go. This soap right here. Okay, this isn't that bad. Dude, I'm the best dishwasher on the East Coast. I spent, like, six years of my life washing dishes. <laughs> Not even joking. There we go. It's not even the not feel like cooking. I don't feel like washing dishes. Right. I mean, washing dishes sucks. Doesn't matter. Especially like on your like knee. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of dangerous. All the way till the tip tip top. Oh dang. Where's Alaska? Where's your cat? Alaska's just under the bed right now, and she's under the bed too. What is happening right now? I'm, I'm gonna try your bed. Is that okay? Yeah. Are we friends now, Alaska? Are we friends now? <laughs> I'm actually really tired. I'm gonna take a quick nap if that's okay. Okay. Even though there is banging next door. Okay, so the welding shop's next door, which we can hear is so loud. It's like ridiculously loud. Your windows, your windows are like right there, right? Yeah, I'm gonna, I don't even hear it. Right. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. So I moved here in February of 2021. And what brought you to New York? I always wanted to live in the city. Since I live in Albany, it's not that far away. So once I got the chance, I just did. Yeah. And how did you find this place? Everyone's always curious, like, how do you find these like cheap apartments so I can get to New York? Honestly, I wouldn't say it's like no process too. We just have to look every day. Me, I just looked on Airbnb and I was like, I'm just gonna ask him if he will let me rent it regular and see what he says. And the um, guy who owns the building, the landlord, he was like, yeah. Um, and do you plan on staying in this apartment or are you gonna try to move somewhere else? I mean, this apartment is really cheap. I know everybody's like praying for me because <laughs> I have to live here every day, but it's not that bad of a struggle. But dude, like you live inside an ambulance? Yeah, yeah, I just got it on a government auction website. And how long have you lived in the uh, ambulance? About four months now. All in with taxes, five grand, 15,000 to renovate it. 20,000 all in. That's oh, I don't want to see it yet. This is sick. Dude, what the heck? So you built this out by yourself? Yeah. Dope. How long did it take to build out? About six months. Well, first of all, where do you sleep? Do you just sleep right here? No, so this is just the couch. Yeah, so this pulls down. Pop this down. This opens up here. Whoa, what the fuck? This opens up here. Dude, what? That's insane. Really? Can I get on it? Get on it, man. Yo, let's go. Full size bed. This is comfortable. Yeah. I'm like. It's six inch memory film. Yeah, you got this thing decked out. Thanks. The fact that you just folded your bed down. What was your rating on the on the comfiness? It's the highest one. It was like a nine. The highest one. This is like highest. this is like a nine. This bed. For vans or apartments? This all over. Because we're inside an ambulance right now. Does, does this mean it has more space than a van? 
Yeah, that was one of the big draws. Just because it's so much wider, and then you have all the external storage, so you don't, you don't have to have all your belongings on the inside or build a big roof rack or something. Totally. Toilet situation. Yeah, it's a wet bath situation. What does that mean, wet bath? Just the toilet, you know, can stay in or pop out. It has hot and cold water too, which is nice. Dude, luxury. Look at that. Thing is sick. I would definitely live in this thing. <laughs> it's closet right here. The shelves. It looks like you just like built all this, right? Yeah, I did it all by hand. I tried to recycle a lot of materials too, um, and I just kind of like used what I had. So what's this down here? There's like a dip. Oh, originally, both these two were walled off and they're external closets that I just cut the walls off. So that dips down, and you can see the door on the outside go all the way down to that ground level. Like, I'm six foot and I can stand up in here. Like, barely, but like, that's pretty good. My sink situation. This is like nicer than most people's New York City apartment. <laughs> I'm not even joking. You gotta pull kind of hard. Arr. Okay, we go. got it, all right. Yeah, toiletries. And then this is just like an extra seat with an actual seatbelt. Yeah, there's seat a seatbelt. There's a seatbelt. There. Is that for like legality reasons or? You don't have to, no. Legally, like only a couple states you have to. Mm. So that's how I cook. So up there is the camp stove. The propane stove, just how I make my meals. Do you cook most of your meals out here? Or like in here? Yeah. I made brats, you know, for my coworkers the other day. We just like went to the park and chilled. It was really nice, just on our lunch break, you know. That's hilarious. It was a vibe. Yeah, yeah. We all just met too, so they were like, "What the heck? Like, yeah. What is this ambulance?" So if you pull that out right there. Oh yeah, I can do some that's writing. That's kind of my desk situation. Work. Yeah, I edit there and study scripts and stuff like that. This is really comfortable too. Yeah, I, I really like that captain's chair. I freelance, so I'm an actor and sound designer, photographer. What about like? So we're sitting here with the doors open right now and there's a lot of light coming in. Mm -hmm. Is that what you normally do? Or do you keep the doors closed? Depends on where I'm at. You know, if I want to stay like more low key about it. That's a smart generator. It is hooked up to all of my electrics basically. It tells you live like the wattage you're pulling and stuff like that. Like if I just did that, it would run for seven, eight hours. Pantry. Decked out. You got all your spices. spices. You got meals, the mini fridge. Yep, did the little alcohol rack in the back there. <laughs> oh, let's go. We got Tito's. Little bar cart. That's all my like cookware and stuff. Pots and pans and but yeah, just try to like, take my time with it. Enjoy the process. It was kind of stressful because, you know, I'm a perfectionist. It's hard to like gauge how long these things are gonna take, you know? For sure. It's just, you know, extra storage, cubbies. This is, a, this is a question I have for you. Have you yeah. ever had to medically aid someone? No, but like when I first bought it, I was at Aldi, like getting food, mm -hmm. and this lady came up and she said her like heart was hurting or something. I just had to be really honest with her, like really fast. So it's like a personal vehicle. I offered to call. I have a standing desk situation. That's kind of fun. Oh my God, this dude thought of everything. <laughs> I don't even have a standing desk. We're going this, around or? Yeah, this is sick. It's so big. So this is literally just seating, like you don't have any storage or anything up here. Behind the seats, I throw some stuff. It's gotta kill on gas, right? It's gotta be like way worse yeah, than a van or anything it's else. It's like a huge truck, pretty much. Yeah, and it's diesel, so, and it's eight to the gallon. It evens out, cause you know, no rent. Yep. So does that limit like your idea of like, hmm, maybe if I wanna take like a road trip somewhere more, you're kinda like play it like, well, let me calculate how much gas that would be. Yeah, that's kinda the whole idea right now of just like rolling with the jobs. Like I didn't plan to come out here until like, four or five days ago. These are two of the external cabinet that I've kind of repurposed. 45 gallon fresh water tank. Got my mom, when I was little, she got me a little like VW bus, like little toy. And I've had it forever. It's like a little orange one, you know, yeah. like, you know, yeah. I've wanted to do it for as long as I can remember. <laughs> You guys want to see this? <laughs> Come look, it's a crazy. This is so amazing. This is my my husband's dream. Might I come aboard? Absolutely. <laughs> there she goes. Absolutely. Oh my god, this is this amazing. Is nice part, yeah, so this is the pantry. Holy mackerel. And you have peanut butter. What else do you need? <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need to survive. <laughs> all you 